Uh, another beautiful sunrise. Hey, you guys. Uh, you're hanging out with me, Ethel. This is episode 18. And, um... This episode, we're just kind of... We're going to kind of chillax. Uh, got no... Nothing new to show you. And uh, no real building plans this episode. Uh, we do have an agenda. We're going to be researching uh, ideas I've had in Minecraft to see if they work. And... Uh, oh yeah, another thing. I forgot to mention this last episode, but... Uh, some people commented that I should hook up uh, the musical note blocks to this uh, warning system. But I'm not really musically gifted, so if somebody wants to uh, figure out a cool tune to play, something simple, uh, upload a video response and then I'll copy it into my world. Uh, something simple though, like, because we don't have a lot of space. Maybe 10 or 20 notes. And if you can, uh, copy a song, part of a song from Cave Story, you win extra points. But yeah, anyway. We're going to be researching things this episode. And one of the first things I wanted to check out is this bone meal deal. So I've heard... I haven't tried it yet. I've read that uh, you can use bone meal to instantly grow trees and wheat. So I want to experiment with that first. First with the trees. And, uh, this looks like a good spot. Plant the tree. I've heard you need to stand back from it, otherwise it can suffocate you. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll just leave it. So that worked, uh, pretty cool. Next thing I wanted to try... That's the first time I've seen that, by the way. Uh, the next thing I wanted to try is to see if it'll grow in, uh... If it'll grow in... a compact space. So I got a block here, so the leaves are going to be forced to be... Actually, let's do it like this. The leaves will have to be forced to be three blocks high, minimum. Interesting. So it does work, but you have to use several bone meal until the... Uh, Until the random tree fits the space. And we're going to try another one. A tube tree. Don't really know what shape I'm making here. This is pretty cool if it, you can grow retard trees using bone meal. One, two, second try. That's cool. And we got ourselves a retard tree. So 
So I'm definitely liking the bone meal. Look at that beautiful retard tree. That's nice. Okay, what did I want to try next? Uh, let's find some place with some more grass. Yeah, the next thing I wanted to try is, uh, since retard trees work, we're going to dig a hole. Creeper check. Looks safe. We're going to dig a hole. Actually, that's probably too deep. Uh, how many is that? One, two, three, four. It's probably good. So we got a soil block there. And we're going to place our sapling on it. And what we're going to do is try to create um, Minecraft uh, hedges or bushes type things. So we're going to place a limiter above our tree. So the highest it can grow is uh, up to here. And we're going to place our bone meal. It might kill me, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa. All right. So it's a little bit dangerous to do it that way, but I'm sure there's a safe way to do it too. And now we got this little uh, leafage at ground level. And we can... Uh, take our leaf cutter and shape it however we want and for example make little hedges at ground level or bushes that won't die so now we got three leaf blocks at ground level that aren't going to die. So that's pretty cool, I think. And you can shape it however you want. Uh, let's see, what should we try next? Oh yeah. I wanted to try growing uh, some crops. So we are going to craft uh, your mom. And we're going to use your mom to find some seeds. If you're wondering where this goes, I got the uh, the mob pads, I think, underneath this cobblestone. I guess I forgot to explore down here, too. It's big. I'll do it some other day. Alright, so we got some cultivated land here. We're going to plant uh, some seeds. And we're going to place our bone meal. Instant crop, awesome. world's smallest uh, wheat farm. No. And the cows killed it, you stinking no. cows. No. 
Anyway. Next thing I wanted to try is we are going to go back to um, the noob grounds, the nether. I don't know if I should leave my sword here or not. Probably won't need it. But just to be safe, uh, we're gonna bring some meat and stuff. Even though we probably won't need it, because it's a very lame place. Okay. And we have our bow, so pretty much indestructible down there. And we're going to see if we can grow wheat in the nether using bone meal. Because I honestly have no idea. Oh, I'm so scared! Wow, this place has actually given me health since I've gotten here. And we're gonna cultivate this. Actually, we probably gotta do this quickly. We'll cultivate it, place our seed, and then our bone meal. And we just grew wheat in the nether. How crazy is that? With no water. Wow. We even have jolly music, jolly music in here. Okay, that's all the bone meal tests I wanted to do. So let's go back. And obviously you can grow trees in the nether, that's, that's nothing new. Um, what to do now? I'm going to check uh, how long this video has been and then I'll decide. So, I'll see you soon. So I guess we're about 13 minutes in, so we have a little bit of time left. Um, I waited till it was light out. And I noticed there is a problem with uh, this thing here. This guy is stuck inside a block right now, and I think it's because we went to the nether. And when we came back, he was doing that. So I think that might be able... I think you can fix that by putting another block on top. I'm not sure. And, uh, yeah, so I looked on the wiki how to build a fishing rod, because... Apparently, I didn't look hard enough. Yeah, I'll be right back. That was embarrassing. Okay. So I've never crafted a fishing rod before. This is my first time. Don't really know how to use it. The wiki said to make two, and that they stack. I 
and you can. Is there a way to reel it in? Um. Or does he just follow you until he's all the way in? I don't know. So I wanted to, uh, found some, uh, animals in my little animal trap here. And, um, uh, so for this, I'm gonna be, I talked about a second floor for this mob trap thing. I also want to make a third floor eventually that uh, is going to spawn the farm animals. It's going to be grass on the third floor. And I want to make a mob separator for them too. And I think it might be possible to make it automatic for them because they all have different sizes according to the wiki. And I know for a fact you can separate pigs and chickens from sheep and cows because let's see here how to do this. I've experimented with this before. Because pigs can fit through one block space. Where's my fishing rod? probably impossible. Come on. That doesn't work. I'm gonna have a million comments telling me what I'm doing wrong here. Move! Okay, fishing rods don't work. Where's my water? Gonna run out of time goofing around with this. Must be in here. Yeah, so uh, chickens and pigs can fit through one block space. And I think uh, sheep and cows can't. There he goes. Uh, I would like to test to make sure. But there are not around when you need them. So that's why I made the fishing rods. Hopefully we can catch some quickly. Okay, what am I doing wrong here? Can't use a scroll wheel. Oh, you right click again. Get over here. Not down there. It's harder than I thought it was going to be. Get over here. Don't fall down there. Get over here. might have to be continued later. Uh, just go.
go in the hole. It's gonna walk into the fire, I bet. Leg. Um. Usually a million sheep and cows around here. And when I need one, there's none to be found. Cows. Yay! Uh oh. No! Finally. Okay. We need to find out if it fits through there. Get your butt in there. Stop jumping, start walking. Okay, so I don't think he fits in a one block space. And... Does he fit in a block and a half? Alright, let's try this now. Who's a good cow? And yes, he does. Okay, I guess we're probably out of time now, so we're gonna have to leave it at that. And I'll experiment with this more later. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.